Did you know that the next parts of episode 77 will be coming out faster than you expect? And we even have exclusive information about it from Mr. Defuk Boom himself. Did you know that the plant we see so often is actually connected to the multiverse? Enemy spotted. <laughs> Do you know who the Astro Toilets really are? Why episode 77 will be one of the most important episodes? And what exactly is in store for us in future parts? It's kinda entertaining. I recently visited Yapper Town and now I definitely have something to yap about. Baba boy. So there's gonna be a lot of useful information in this video as I will show you exclusive information about the future episodes from Boom, and even tell you when approximately each part of episode 77 will be released. I will also tell you about some important details that were in the first part of episode 77 that I didn't talk about in my analysis. And of course, there will be talk about the Astro Toilets and the plot of each part. By the way, do you want to help me reach 900k subscribers? I noticed that we've been trying to reach this mark for a long time, so you better subscribe to keep me from hitting bottom. Hello friends, you're on the <laughs> channel. Subscribe to the channel and press the like button under the video to speed up the release of the next video. And let's go. And the first thing we should pay attention to is a tree that for some reason stands near the destroyed wall. And isn't it strange? Lately we've been seeing the plant very often, and now it's a lonely tree that somehow miraculously remained unharmed in the middle of the goddamn destroyed city. Boom has been making us love plants lately, and that's great, but we still need to understand why he leaves these signals. And now I'm going to yap about shapeshifting as this topic is often discussed throughout the community. And let's talk about the plants and the chair in general. In my analysis, I mentioned the shape-shifting theory, and I suggested that there could be a possibility that the chair transformed into a plant. But if you remember, in episode 76, we saw the chair and the plant in the same frame. So the shape-shifting theory doesn't fit here since the chair couldn't be in two places at once. But note, I'm not saying that shape-shifting is nonsense, I'm just talking about the situation that the chair couldn't have turned into a plant at that moment. But in general, I believe in the shape-shifting theory. And now I'll explain what's going on here and my thoughts. We need to take another look at that thing attached to the tree. And you know what I think? I think this thing is not what we think it is. Actually, we don't know what it is. But what I mean is that underneath that shell is something else, or rather someone else. And all the details are coming together on the shape-shifting theory. I think this thing originally had a different shape, and it's probably a member of a new computer man race. And as far as I know, I was the only one talking about this race among analysis YouTubers half a year ago, and it seemed fantastic to everyone. But now everyone is talking about it, which makes it more real. We've already seen the weird dude in episode 74, and frankly, I believe it's one of the computer men. And this race is connected to a secret agent and will have a green glow. Of course, for obvious reasons, Boom didn't add some kind of glow to this dude, so we wouldn't realize who he was. And if the computer men are real, I think that they are able to shapeshift into any object, and this is one of their abilities, as well as perhaps they can become invisible and also teleport. So I suspect that this thing and also that tree we saw at the beginning of the episode may be shapeshifted computer men. And I can't believe this tree could have survived after what happened here. It's just not possible, bro. But in order to convince you that the computer men are real, we need to go back to this image. In fact, it's hard to tell who it is from this particular image. But with the help of AI, I've managed to make the image clearer. And look what it looks like now. And don't tell me it's a TV man, bruh. Blood has a computer monitor for real. But still, even that doesn't 100% confirm it's a computer man until Boom officially shows them to us. But we had a million clues in the form of computer monitors scattered everywhere. In episode 73 and episode 74, on the secret agent's desk in front of all the other races' heads, which could indicate that the computer men are just on the secret agent's side because the monitor is in front of the other heads. And there were more clues, but I don't see the point in talking about them all because the video would be too long. I think those clues are enough. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I personally have a lot of faith in this race. But whether to believe in it is up to you, it's just a theory though. But assuming that thing and the tree from the beginning of the episode are computer men, then who are the chair and the plant? I'm not sure about the chair, but I think the plant is also the computer man who opened the portal for the chair. There was a white flash and the chair started being pulled in there. And when the POV cameraman got to it, we saw the plant. So most likely the plant is a computer man that opened the portal for the chair. And the chair itself is probably something else or also a computer man. But even if the chair and the plant have nothing to do with computer race, I still believe in this race. And don't forget that Boom is a fan of Transformers, which can also shapeshift. I am Optimus Prime. Bruh. But it's also possible that the chair and the plant are actually from another multiverse, like the Beatbox multiverse. You can't rule out this theory, and it's very plausible. As I recall, someone asked Boom if the Beatbox multiverse was somehow connected to the Skibidi toilet. And I think Boom said maybe. 
which I take as a yes. And do you want me to show you an interesting detail? The map that Cameraman showed in episode 76 is the same map we saw on the tablet in the Beatbox multiverse, and it says Grid 988 Alpha. And of course, in this episode, we saw a chair and a plant. Maybe it's a coincidence, maybe not. But personally, I think this theory is very probable because I'm sure that Boom would like to continue making Beatbox episodes. But unfortunately, he doesn't have time for it. And since I think that the plot of the Beatbox multiverse is really awesome, Boom may want to make some references to it. Anyway, I think you've had your daily chair dose today. Let's talk about Astro. Who the hell are these dudes? At the end of part one, we saw little spider legs coming out of this dude's head, and it's kind of weird, isn't it? Well, the first thing we need to look at is his neck, which was still attached to his body. I've watched the full fight several times and tried to find a collar on him that we've seen on other smaller Astros. And I noticed that this dude also has a collar, although he's stronger than the other little Astros. And I have a few theories about Astros. The first theory is that collars are used to control weaker Astros and stronger Astros are used by parasites in case the Astro gets caught or the Astro tries to betray his allies. Maybe the parasite is like a two-factor autorization bro, and the parasites can take control of their body, or even possibly that these parasites completely control them from the very beginning. But that's the surface theory and probably the most obvious one. Another theory is that the Astros themselves are parasites that use human shells, and that theory is very, very plausible. And the thing is that I suspect that the Skibidi scientist may have also been an Astro with a G-man, and don't you think it's weird that Bro suddenly invented parasites that began to control the agents? So where did Bro get the idea from? Honestly, it's hard to invent something from scratch. And usually anything that is invented has some basis in information or knowledge. So what if the scientist himself was an astro and he also had a spider in his body? Or the scientist wasn't an astro and was told about the parasites by G-Man himself because he is a freaking parasite? Or the scientist from Ohio? Enemy spotted. To be fair, Baldy knew about the parasites and G-Man must have yapped at him about it. And I suspect that Astros could be parasites. And it's common in movies for aliens to masquerade as humans. But the topic of parasites is confusing because there are so many nuances. For example, we have not seen before that some Astros came to life. We also have not seen that a parasite came out of the scientist when he was killed by the Titans. But at the same time, we saw a fake G-Man with a random toilet in it in episode 65, which also makes us think that G-Man is pretty knowledgeable about this parasitic crap. This topic is really mind-blowing, and we need to think about it, and we will come back to it before the new episode comes out. And I will need your help as well. So write what you think about it, and your theory can be included in my next video. But it's time to share with you the information from Boom, and also to tell you what I think will happen in the future parts of episode 77, and also its approximate release date. For this information, we should thank Ibio75. Since Boom wrote to him, it's probably going to be four parts, and next parts will come out faster now that I set up new equipment since maps and designs are all ready. Each part will be better than previous. And besides the fact that Boom wasn't feeling well, he was also changing equipment, which probably caused him to have rendering errors, as is common with new equipment. And all of this was reflected in the long release of the first part of episode 77. But as you can see, he said that the next parts will come out faster. And here's what I think about that. In the second part of the 77th episode, we'll have another battle or some important event, but I highly doubt we'll be shown the Titans. Maybe we will see G-Man for a few seconds before he improves, or we will be shown our Titans at the end. And there is also a chance to see the Speakerman Lab at the end of the episode. And I think for this episode, we will have to wait for about 10 or maximum 12 days since the last episode if everything goes well. Parts three and four will probably take longer, maybe even 15 days for each part. And in part three, I'm sure we will definitely see the Titans and the Speakerman Lab and we will have a fierce battle. Maybe the Titans will get the Titan Cameraman's signal and try to save him. Part 4 will be the most important part, as I personally hope to see an improved Titan G-Man or at least his participation in the battle against Astro. The Titan Cameraman will definitely be in Part 4, and I suspect he might even die. We are definitely in for one of the craziest battles we have ever seen in the series and a tragic ending. But I want to remind you that this is only my opinion, and in fact it's a slight guess. And I didn't really think about what exactly awaits us since the video was more focused on Episode 77 Part 1. But as always, I will have more detailed video about the plot later. So feel free to write your theories in the comments.